Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me for work. And it's looking for my lip balm. There it is. I kind of I cleaned up actually last night after um, I did my videos. So yeah, everything's put away and clean. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to get some um, chapstick going. And this is the one I hauled. The Rose Petal Chapstick. I like it. It's chapstick. I'm going to be using a few new things today. First, I'm going to get moisturized. Oops, straps is a showing. Got a love bra straps. So this is just the elf. I am trying to use that up because I have a new bottle of moisturizer waiting. So we're going to just use a little of that. Go all over. Down the neck. Okay. I'm going to let that do its thing for a second. And while that's doing its thing. Look, you can see the top of my mirror now. I raised it up a little bit. I'm going to clean my mirror. Okay, off just a little. Get my primer ready. So the primer I'm using is the Smashbox. This is the photo finish. I'm going to take a little bit of that. There's something. There we go. Get that out of there. On my primer. There's something on my primer. But I got it out. All right. Just a little bit. And I'm just mainly focusing it around the worst areas that I have pores. And under the eyes. And then take what is left and just kind of spread it around. Spread it around. All right, so that is my photo focus <sighs> foundation. I am using that new sponge today, that new one I hauled. So I think today I'm going to use the uh, matte and poreless. My shade is 122 Creamy Beige, and it's this bottle here, and it is Maybelline Fit Me. So I'm just going to take, I wish this had a pump. Maybelline, or really any companies watching, <laughs> pumps, baby, pumps. Just give us a pump in the bottle. And I have enough that's kind of around the lid area here some of that off because it come on it's like you get too much or not enough you know what I'm saying without the pump and then it's all over your fingers it's all over the bottle but this is a good foundation so pumps pumps <laughs> I'm wipe my fingertips off so I don't get anything on my work shirts all right, guys, we're going to try that new sponge out. And I did wet it, and it did expand. And you guys know I don't use a lot of foundation, so. But it feels really good. It's soft. It's not overly firm. It's not overly soft. I like the corner. You can get up in the side of your nose. Get up under the eye. Pull my mirror just a little bit closer to me here. But that's, I mean, that's about as much foundation as I usually use. I try not to go more than that. Concealers. Did I put all my concealers away? I'm going to use... Do I have one that's already used? No, that's a brand new one. All right, this is the Rimmel Match. I had bought several of these as backups because I was using the crap out of it. Um, I think it seems like I have one that is already um, a lot more used up than this one. It just seems like I'm going to put it around my nose today. 
But this is the light. Rimmel Match Perfecting It 230 Fairlight. So it's a Fairlight. I'm pretty sure I got another one that's already been used some. It's probably in that little basket. I do like this concealer. I had just, um, because I bought like three of them <laughs> when they were on a good sale. Um, I've just been trying other concealers. Nice. Take anything that's left and kind of go over my nose. All right. Guess what? I'm breaking open that new stay mat. So I have a new stay mat. This one is a little bit lighter than the other one. Uh, this one's Silky Beige 005, the one I have been using the crap out of, and it is almost gone. This one is 011 Creamy Natural. And we're going to try it. This one's a little lighter, but since, you know, we are in the um, winter months, must, I figured, you know, I'll need a lighter one. So I'm just going to lightly tap into this with the e.l.f. complexion brush. And just go all over. And so far, it seems to be fine. <laughs> Alright, that will work. So, new powder out. Um, I do still use this old one. I'm trying to use it up by using it to set my eye primer, which is what we're going to do right now. That is way too much on my eye, so let's get a little bit off. I have to go to work today, and I'm extremely kind of ill, so I don't know. I'm going to try to stay calm and collected at work. Um, over the weekend, I had some things get missing out of my work locker. One of which was money, and another was um, a watch that I had just got in the mail. And I had it in my purse because I had checked the mail on my way to work, and I had the watch in my purse. And I know it's my own fault because my locker was not locked. <sighs> but I have been at my job for eight months, and... None of us ever really locked our lockers. There was a few that locked their lockers. And we've never, ever, ever had an issue with our original crew that, that's been there since um, when I started. Like, there, there's some that's been there eight years or, or more. Um, never had an issue. Well, they hired a bunch of people for Christmas. And there's a few that I wouldn't trust with, you know, anything. And uh, I should have locked my locker. It's my own fault. But, you know, what can you do? Life's a learning experience. But I know one of them people at work, one of the new people, stole my money and my watch. Um, and I know work is uh, investigating it because apparently I was not the only one. And when I called work and told them what had happened, because I came home and I went through all my pockets, I went through my purse, I went through my car, you know, thinking, okay, I've just dropped it somewhere. No. It's gone. And um, so when I called work, apparently I was not the only one that had things, including money, missing from their purses. So work is investigating, and I hope they figure out which sucker it was because I believe in karma and what comes around goes around. And if you're stealing, you know, that shit's going to come back. Pardon my French. That, that's going to come back to you. I mean, it is really going to come back to you. So, I hope they figure out who done it. Big fluffy brush today. I'm using that Just Peachy palette. Um, I had a look up with this. And for some reason, YouTube was just not uploading it. So, I'm going to use it again today. <sighs> These palettes that smell so good when you open them just makes you want to do your makeup. I'm going to go into Peach Tea, which is... This um, tan shade here, here, tan shade here. I should do a video where I just really let my southern accent just rip. Because I tone it down. I really tone it down for um, the videos so it's not so hick sounding. Um, but like I said, I, I live in the 
foothills of western North Carolina. So I am up toward the mountains. I'm not in the mountains, but I'm up toward the mountains. And for some reason, this area um, is, the accent's really thick. Like if you go more down toward um, Charlotte, which is like um, borderline South Carolina, but if you, and even out more toward the coast, it is nowhere near <laughs> what it is up here. So I should do like a really southern accent video. Just let it, just let it ride. All right, I'm going to take a smaller brush, and you guys know it's going to be that little wet and wild. I cannot wait to get my brushes. I think they come today. So they will be waiting on me when I get home, hopefully. This is the little Wet n Wild blending brush, and I'm gonna come into the one next to it, Peach Cobbler. And these shadows are just so good, guys. Just look at that, look. And keeping that just right at my cr crease, just kind of right above the crease. So good. And I'm going to try to keep this kind of neutral since I am going to work. Nothing like crazy, crazy. I'm going to use, this is a, a shadow brush, but it's a little bit more fluffy. It's the one I got at TJ Maxx in a set, and the handles are so pretty. Can you see the handles? Oh, so pretty. I'm going to go into Just Ripe, which is kind of this more burgundy-ish. And I'm just going to lightly tap the tips in, and I'm keeping that right down in here and I'm kind of patting and kind of flicking and just really keeping that in this corner area I got video happy this week I mean I did um, two yesterday but that was kind of to make up for Monday because I had my mother Monday and um I drive her around to like doctor's office or doctor's visits and we do some shopping and that's usually an all day thing so I didn't get to upload Monday so I was kind of making up for it <laughs> and we did some pretty good shopping though I didn't get a whole lot of stuff there was some good sales out I was trying not to um spend too much <laughs> and I'm just following my crease shape and just kind of carving a crease very lightly can you see that I don't know if you can really tell what I'm doing but when I pat this corner and then I start pulling it over I'm cutting kind of cutting out a crease cause I don't have one and I think that side got a little bit more shadow happy than this side so let me go back and make them kind of match <sighs> which we're going to blend the crap out of that right now anyway I'm going to come in with a brush that's a little more stiff which is um, these are the B Stope brushes I got from Amazon and like I said, we're just we're gonna blend all of that out right now. Blending it out, blending it, blending it out. So it's going to soften it up. Now I'll look to make sure they kind of match. This eye always gets like a little bit more for some reason. I go happy on that eye. I don't know why, but it's right here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take a little shadow brush and this is just a generic. Um, I think I got these off either AliExpress or I believe it was AliExpress and I'm gonna come in with peach sangria which is this real beautiful kind of magenta 
what are we at? We're at almost 15 minutes. And you guys know what I do. I pat this out in the corner. And this shade is there. As soon as you lay it down, it is there. Okay. Look at that. And again, I'm going to come in with that blending brush and just give it a very light touch. And just blend it just a little. Clean that brush off. Or use a different brush. And I'm going to come in with Peach Punch, which is the one right above it, this one. And... That is our lid shade. So pretty. So pretty. I'm going to take what's left on that tip. Just pull it down a little. Alright. Um, detail brush. It's just that little one dollar elf. I'm gonna come in with just right and just right under that corner. And I'm gonna come in with peach punch. Just like that. Ooh. So that, that's it for the peaches. The peaches. Um, I have put everything away like I said. So I need a blush. I need a bronzer. Lord, I put it all away. Um, what did I do with my bronzer? <gasps> have I lost my bronzer? Oh, I put it in my drawer. I put it in this drawer. <laughs> All right, so there's the Milani bronzer. And this is just the e.l.f. brush. Let me check my Tom. Good on Tom. I gotta be out of here in about 30 minutes, so plenty of Tom. And I may soften up those eyes. I said I wasn't gonna go <laughs> very dark, but those are so pigmented, it's kinda hard not to. And if you ever come across that and you want to just soften your eye look, take like a little Kabuki. This I think I got in a Lancome set a long time ago. And I'm just going to come into that corner, this upper corner, and just kind of fluff it. And that will soften the whole thing up. See what I'm saying? It just kind of softens it up. Um, I'm not going to do a liner today. I have been doing liner. Actually, give me back that peachy palette. I'm going to take that chocolate dipped, the brown, the darkest brown. And just put a little at my lash line to give it a little depth. Just like that. For brows, I'm going to use um, that eye lure. <sighs> and it has got a little bit of a crack in it. And I just got it on my white pants. My white pants. My black pants. White powder on my black pants. So I need to take this is a little brush I got off eBay. It's got the brow a brush on one end and the spoolie on the other and this is a white powder a wax and a dark powder and I'm just gonna tap into the dark powder and then pat a little of it off and just very lightly cover up my bald spot there That's really all I'm going to do is just cover in 
that bald spot right there. And that was the um, the Eyelore. A friend of mine sent that to me. And it kind of broke in transit, but that was not her fault. That was just, that's postal, because she had that baby wrapped up tight. But, okay, I'm going to take that same complexion brush. And this is the blush by Tarte. It is Parte. It came in the um, birthday gift, I think, this year. I believe it was from Sephora, the Sephora birthday gift. So a little bit of blush, and that was Tarte. And try not to shake you too bad. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a Jeffree Star Summer Snow Cone today. Um, he's getting ready to have a sale this Friday. I will be ordering because I really want the Androgyny palette and I don't have that one. So this is Summer Snow Cone. Look how pretty. And mascara. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to use the um, Voluminous Original. I grabbed the wrong one. I meant to get carbon black. I think they were out of the carbon black is why I grabbed this one. But, you know, it's good. I just don't think it's as good as the carbon black. I'm trying not to get this in my hair or on my face because you guys know it's usually this eye. I tap myself somewhere and there's a curl. A baby curl trying to sabotage. <laughs> I've been listening to Queen. Oh, they are such a good band. Look at that. Did you see that big clump that just come off? There we go. Freddie Mercury was a is a genius. I mean, he was just amazing. Adam Lambert's doing a really good job kind of um, taking over, but there will never be another Freddie Mercury. They just, there will not. Um, for lips, I think I'm just going to leave it. The balm, this balm. Because it's very pretty. It's very moisturizing. And I think it looks okay with this look. And I'm going to use that cover effects that came in the boxy charm. That is just amazing. So amazing. And I just got mascara under my eye. <laughs> Hold on one second. We're going to clean it up. I'll probably have to go get a little bit of makeup remover and clean it up. Yeah, maybe not. Just need to go over it with a little more powder. Right there. Yeah, we're okay. Alright guys, that is it. It's time to finish getting ready for work. I've got to spray my hair down and get my shoes on, get my lunch ready, and I will see you guys probably... Friday. I'll get my Friday video done. I have been trying my best to stick to three videos a week. Uh, I've been trying to stay with Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It doesn't always work out that way, but I try to still get in my minimum of three videos a week. Um, I do have a holiday giveaway getting ready to, to happen, and I'll probably get that video going around Thanksgiving. So be on the lookout for that video. Hit that notification bell so you will you'll you'll not miss it. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.